the Strawberry model has finally arrived. The O1 Preview is a larger model for complex tasks like research and coding. The O1 Mini is smaller, faster and performs nearly as well in coding benchmarks. In this video, I'm trying to test the O1 Preview model. The first prompt was Jessica from HR sent me a secret message on the company team's app UKICWTIY. In the kitchen, she told me she found somebody in the office who is her type and can't wait until her shift ends. Can you help me decode the message? What do you think Jessica's intentions might be in sending this secret message? If you'd like to figure it out on your own, pause the video for a moment because I'm about to show the solution. Think it through and you can test if you can solve it sooner than the new ChatGPT model. The puzzle is about the following. The small hints she gave were based on the double meaning of the words type and shift. And they implied that she typed the message and shifted all the letters to the left to produce the message. So we need to shift all the letters to the right to reveal the original message. And if we take all the letters she gave and shift them to the right, we get this which I've written in red here. Let's see what the O1 preview model does with the puzzle. The task process is visible. At first it guessed I like you, which was incorrect, but later it corrected itself to I love you, which is quite brilliant. We can see it initially guessed Caesar cipher, then it realized it was a QWERTY cipher. It took 29 seconds to figure it out, which is much faster than a human could have done. The second prompt was about needing to respond to Jessica in a similar style. The message needs to convey a secret message while appearing to be a normal corporate letter. The secret message should be sorry I'm married when reading the first letters of each sentence. In the normal corporate letter body, the following sentences should appear. I need a 200% raise. Someone left strange photos in the photocopy machine. Let's see how ChatGPT responds to this. It goes through steps, balancing professionalism. You can see it spitting out the answers. All right, let's see, here are the steps. It creates the letter, analyzes, it balances on professionalism. It improves the clarity of the letter. That's interesting. Then it rethinks the entire plan. Hopefully these revisiting steps are there, so that if it notices a mistake in its earlier processing, it can iteratively fix it. Now it focuses on specific elements, it emphasizes professionalism and expertise, it reviews the professionalism once more and crafts a professional letter. Since I didn't tell it to write each sentence on a new line, it didn't do it that way, so I quickly split it up. The Dear Jessica and Sincerely Your Name parts don't have a role in the secret message. Here you can see that the message Sorry I'm Married fits perfectly with the initials. It even paid attention to placing new paragraphs where the, there are spaces between the letters in the original message. The letter also meets the criteria of looking like a professional corporate letter and it includes the two sentences we asked for. With the third prompt, I wanted to create a Flappy Bird clone where the bird's appearance changes after every 10th pipe jump. Let's see how ChatGPT responds to this prompt. It thinks, goes through these phases and spits out the solution for us. Now the moment of truth. Let's see if the game runs perfectly on the first try. Oops, unfortunately it threw an error at first, despite the reasoning and the thorough tag process. I submitted the code along with the error to the regular Omni model and this successfully fixed it and now the game runs smoothly. Maybe a restart at the end would be good, but it could be my mistake for not mentioning it in the prompt. After a few more change requests the following version came together. Actually it's quite entertaining, at least for me. I read somewhere that this new O1 preview model is excellent for creating business plans. I was thinking that money isn't the most important thing, so I tried to come up with a prompt focused on a person's psychological well-being. Here is the prompt. My best friend Joe is 30 years old and he has all kinds of positive and negative traits. He's not doing too well in life and wants to find the wife by the end of the year while trying to address all his problems to some extent by then. Let's see what he does with this. 
it seems to me that it's writing pretty general and obvious things. It doesn't really take Joe's financial situation into account. However, I see potential in this that if there's an app that gives you personalized advice precisely for your situation, then it could give you a little push. For the next one, I'm trying a real business plan. Jimmy is a 35-year-old unemployed and burnt-out software developer. He has $100,000 in his bank account and owns a house. He wants to have $1 million in his bank account within a year. He is looking for sustainable and low-risk methods. The prompt asks for a realistic plan to achieve this goal. I see that it thought for 14 seconds and hopefully it thought it through well. Let's see what it has done. It suggests real estate investments, such as renting out any extra space in the house. It acknowledges that this plan might seem quite impossible for Jimmy, who is in a difficult situation. Despite being burnt out, his experience is valuable. He could pivot to tech writing, content creation or mentoring. It advises networking, skill building and seeking investor advice. It notes that reaching 1 million is unlikely and suggests prioritizing well-being. ChatGPT's focus on health is appreciated. It mentions dropshipping but warns success is unlikely without skills and a risk-taking mindset. Unfortunately, it looks like there is no simple method for Jimmy to have 1 million within a year. Poor Jimmy. For the next one, I tried a somewhat more realistic prompt. Here I talked about having a YouTube channel describing reality, mentioning 45 subscribers, 133 watch hours, and I tried to draft a realistic plan to convert this hobby into a full-time job within 6 months, preferably without sponsorships. I'm open to everything else, but I like to avoid sponsorships if possible. It deals with monetization, engagement and growth. It took quite a while to process 33 seconds. It's just churning out the detailed plan. It mentions quite standard things, but it's clear that it details everything thoroughly. It outlined a rather strenuous plan, suggesting that initially I should produce at least two or three long videos weekly and one short daily. Wow, that sounds pretty exhausting. It also performs specific calculations such as estimating revenue from memberships. For example, if someone has 10,000 subscribers and 2% become members, it calculates how much revenue that would generate. I like how it still considers doing promotions even though I said not to. It seems much less of a people pleaser than the earlier versions. I might actually try this advice and then it will be a test case to evaluate after 6 months. If you see that I am filled with subscribers on March, then it worked. This prompt explores how the invention of time travel in 2025 would affect society and religions. Interestingly, it only talked about this for 4 seconds, I guess because this topic is so well covered in sci-fi literature. It writes that the initial public reaction would be excitement, then it would turn into fear and confusion. And there would be problems with history too, as historical events would constantly need reinterpretation, creating a fluid, ever-changing historical narrative. Museums and educational institutions would struggle with constantly shifting narratives. The ethical implications would also be controversial. The government would likely try to regulate time travel, but if someone opposed it, they could travel back in time and undo the regulation. This makes countering time travel a complicated challenge. Yes, it also writes here that this could cause significant changes in politics because rivals could somehow undermine each other's power in the past. Religions that are based on determinism, predestination and linear progression could fall into a theological crisis. The concept of a changeable past would also call fate and divine planning into question. Individuals could also experience a kind of existential crisis as they might question the concept of responsibility and the very meaning of life if anything can be undone and changed afterward. Social changes? This time machine would deal a significant blow to laws as alibis and evidence could become completely fluid. At any time, a time traveler could be asked to erase the evidence revealed in court. 
going back in time to help the criminal. It would also have a devastating impact on the economy, as many who are allowed to time travel would buy stocks that will perform well in the future. Someone buys a bunch of Apple stock at its IPO for pennies and then they become the richest person in the world. It also raises moral questions as it would be possible to prevent major tragedies that have affected humanity like world wars, floods, earthquakes. This raises questions about whether we could save billions of lives, but we don't know the unforeseen consequences of such actions. People might feel a recurring temptation to change bad actions from their past, which could result in a complex psychological effect that is unknown to us so far. Various paradoxes and causality issues could arise. For example, if we prevent our grandparents from meeting each other, we wouldn't have been born and thus wouldn't have been able to go back in time to prevent it. Terminator 2 has very interesting examples of such paradoxes, where John Connor sends Kyle Reese back in time and Kyle becomes John's father. He must exist to send Kyle back in time, but he wouldn't exist if he hadn't sent him back. I think the new model gathers information in an interesting way, making it a potentially valuable brainstorming tool for writing a book. Strawberries here, big brain on the rise, cracking eight chart code, shifting letters to the skies. Flappy birds fix, no error, no sweat. Oh one's got the game, now it's all set. Jimmy's got dreams, a million on his mind. Oh one says slow down, success takes time. YouTube grind, subs about to grow. AI's got the plan, now let's go. Uh -huh.